Hello, I'm Liam, CEO and co-founder of Zealandia Systems. Based in Christchurch, New Zealand, we are a CNC machine tool manufacturer. In this video series, we're going to be building one of these using one of these. Here at Zlandia Systems, we have been building the Proteus range of commercial gantry routers for the previous three years. This has enabled us to get some very valuable client insights as to where they expect value price point in the market. Because of this, we have gone through a slight realignment at the end of last year and we designed, developed and built the Discovery Gantry Router, or we call it the Disco GR for short. You saw this earlier in the intro and we thought to ourselves, what is a challenging project that we can work through on the machine to prove out its capacity, prove out its capabilities, and also demonstrate how easy it is to make complex projects at home. With this, we found the nine cylinder scale aircraft engine. So let's jump across onto the computer and have a look at it in more detail. The Oldsrid nine cylinder radial engine, now I apologise if I get any names wrong, were originally built and developed by Carl Eric Oldsrud and these drawings were drawn up by Jan Alb. Now these designs are available readily off GrabCAD as we see here. Now Steen Winter has generously allowed us to use his CAD files, link in the description here but we did manage to use the Internet Wayback Machine to find the original drawings. The nine cylinder radial engine is approximately 300 millimeters in diameter. The prop will be about 700 to 800 millimeters in diameter. There's going to be approximately a thousand individual parts on this machine as we go through it. A lot of these you can imagine are rinse and repeat with all the individual cylinders. So we can do some batch machining on some of these parts. With this project we're going to be attempting to stick mainly with 6000 series aluminium. However there are some parts such as the valve seats, the valves, the cylinder sleeves and the crankshaft that we are going to machine out of steel. We are going to attempt this on the machine with a 3 axis, however we might cheat to start with and get our friend with a CNC lathe to turn those parts for us. We will be building a steel fixture plate for the machine and we will be utilising Saunders Machine Works mod vices, Mighty Bite work holding and Chipex tooling to feature custom fixtures and jigs as we manufacture this unit. We have recently partnered with CloudNC, a UK based AI cam generation company. They have a plugin directly for Fusion 360. It allows full AI cloud generation of your tool paths using your tools. This will streamline our process by bringing our tool path generation down to approximately three minutes per part. Historically this could take several hours and it is quite a skill to try and get your feeds and speeds correct. The machine on the bench is our Alpha Model Discovery GR 0606. The machine comes in a variety of work envelopes, 400 by 400, 600 by 600, 1200 by 600 and 1200 by 1200. Starting with an 800 watt spindle, we can upgrade this to a 1.5 or a 2.2 kilowatt spindle, but it is all digitally controlled through G-code or through our software interface. 1616 ball screws along with 20 millimeter linear rails ensure repeatable and consistent results every time. While we work on building the scale engine project, we will also find tools and parts that will make life easier. So stick around as we continually learn, improve and release feature sets along the way. In this project, we're going to be using Chipex tooling. Now Chipex also provides Mighty Byte, AB Tools, Swift Carb, NAM Power and Saunders Machine Works mod vices, which we will utilize throughout this video. Some of these tools are going to be such as our single flute three mil cutter, 
our 30 degree engraving mill and our 90 degree chamfer tool. We will also be using a variety of thread cutters, boring tools and other boring tools. <laughs> so close. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out the comments in the description below. We'd love to hear your response and your feedback, so please drop us a line in the comments. In the next video, we'll be pathing and making our first parts for the radial engine, and we'll see you then. I think I got it. I think I got it.